What if there was a natural compound that acted like brain fertilizer, helping you think clearer, feel better, and even protect against aging? Hey there, friends. It's Pharmacist Michael. Have you ever struggled with brain fog, low mood, or memory slips? What if I told you that scientists discovered a natural compound that mimics BDNF, a molecule so powerful it's been called miracle Grow for your brain? Today, we're diving into 7,8-dihydroxyflavone, a flavonoid that acts like BDNF, the brain-derived neurotrophic factor. It's being studied for everything from depression and Alzheimer's to brain injuries and cognitive decline. So what is this compound? Does it work? And should you be taking it? Let's break it all down. No hype, just science. It's not a pharmaceutical, it's a plant compound. But don't let that fool you. 7,8-dihydroxyflavone, sometimes called 7,8-DHF, is a flavonoid found in trace amounts in plants like Godmania and Tridax. But here's what makes it fascinating. It mimics the action of BDNF by binding to TRKB receptors in the brain, the same receptors that BDNF activates. That's important because BDNF helps neurons grow, survive, and connect. It's absolutely crucial for learning, memory, mood regulation, and neuroplasticity. Low BDNF levels have been linked to depression, anxiety, Alzheimer's disease, cognitive decline, and even poor sleep and addiction. So the idea that a small molecule like 7,8-DHF can cross the blood-brain barrier and activate these same pathways is a big deal. Is this hype or hope? Let's talk data. Here's what we know from preclinical studies. In animal models of Alzheimer's, 7,8-DHF improved memory and reduced neurodegeneration. In depression models, it reversed depression-like behaviors by activating TRKB signaling without the delay typical of standard antidepressants. It also showed promise in Parkinson's, stroke recovery, and traumatic brain injury models. Now, here's the catch. Most of this research is in animals. Human clinical trials are still very limited, but the mechanism is solid. And one more thing. 7,8-DHF crosses the blood-brain barrier, which many other compounds, like BDNF itself, cannot do effectively. Could this really boost your brain, or is it just good marketing? If you've seen 7,8-DHF supplements online, you've probably seen claims like supercharge your brain or cure for depression. Let's slow down. Here are realistic potential benefits based on what we currently know. Neuroprotection, especially in aging or oxidative stress. Cognitive enhancement, possibly improve learning and memory. Mood support, due to BDNF mimicking. And brain repair, this can be potentially helpful after trauma or injury. But here's what we don't know yet. Long-term safety in humans. Whether it works consistently outside of specific conditions, and proper dosing and timing for different goals. So it's not a miracle drug, but it's a very interesting tool in the brain health toolbox. Natural doesn't mean risk free, and this one deserves a closer look. Let's talk safety. 7,8-DHF is generally well tolerated in low doses in studies, but we don't have large-scale human trials yet. Possible side effects include mild headaches, irritability, and insomnia, especially if taken late in the day. There's also concern that chronic high doses might lead to TRKB desensitization, hormonal disruption, BDNF interacts with endocrine pathways, and potential overstimulation or tolerance. Here's an important caution. If you're taking SSRIs, 
MAOIs, or have a history of seizures or bipolar disorder, check with the healthcare provider before considering this supplement. And as always, don't combine it with other nootropics or antidepressants without professional guidance. Thinking of trying it? Here's how to do it smartly, without wasting your money. There's no FDA-approved dosing, but here's what's common in supplement form. Typical dose is about 10 to 30 milligrams per day. Cycle it, five days on, two days off, or two weeks on, one week off to avoid tolerance, and take early in the day to avoid overstimulation. Here are some stacking options. Lion's mane mushroom, supports BDNF from a different mechanism. Magnesium l 3 n 8 helps with synaptic plasticity and omega-3 fatty acids for membrane fluidity and brain resilience. Avoid stacking with stimulants or high-dose caffeine, and please don't overdo it. More is not better, especially with brain chemistry. We're just scratching the surface. This could be the start of something big. Imagine a future where we could support brain healing after trauma, reverse cognitive decline, or optimize learning as we age with precise compounds like this. 7-8-DHF may not be the final answer, but it's opening doors. And if you're someone who values longevity, mental sharpness, and mood balance, this might be worth exploring, with the right caution, of course. So, is 7-8-dihydroxyflavoin right for you? Here's my take. 7-8-DHF is one of the most promising flavonoids I've seen in the nootropic and longevity world. It mimics BDNF, supports neurons, and shows real potential for brain health, mood, and aging. But, respect the science. It's not fully proven yet. Use it smartly. Start low and always check with a professional if you're managing any health conditions. Have you tried 7-8-DHF? Did it help your focus, memory, or mood? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experience. And if this helped you, hit that like button, share it with someone working on their brain health, and subscribe for more evidence-based supplement insights. Until next time, be sharp, be smart, and be healthy. My name is Pharmacist Michael, and I'll see you in the next video.